A scary scene in Cincinnati Monday night. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin in cardiac arrest, collapsing after a play. That sending shock to those on and off the field, including VCU cardiologist Dr. Jeremy Turlington. I think everybody's working diagnosis is, is if you watch, he took the, he made that tackle on the gentleman that the other player, you know, lowered his uh, shoulder into his chest and then he stood up. And then when he collapsed, that's when you go, oh, this is what something different is going on. You know, it was not the typical head injury or somebody got the wind knocked out of him kind of thing. Turlington says he thinks it was caused by commotio cordis, a strong impact to the chest, hitting at the wrong part of the heart rhythm cycle causing that rhythm to become fatal. So as a cardiac intensivist, we treat cardiac arrest daily. You know, that, that, that we see very common. This form of cardiac arrest is exceedingly rare. And in my time here over the past 13 years, I, I've never seen this happen before. Only 10 to 20 cases are reported each year, mainly in men 15 years old or younger playing baseball or lacrosse. Dr. Pam Mason with UVA says medics prepared to react in seconds made the difference. It's critical to have on the sidelines for professional sporting events trained personnel, which they certainly had, people who understand CPR um, and how to perform even more advanced therapies, having a defibrillator on the sidelines. Both doctors now encouraging everyone to learn how. You know, we'd really like everybody in our community to be trained in CPR. Um, what they were doing on the sidelines initially, every member of our community can provide um, to whether it's an athlete or an older patient. For lack of a better term, he died on the field last night. I think people need to hear that with cardiac arrest. He really did die and the heroic measures of this training staff and everybody at, at the Bengals Stadium to get there as quickly and do everything. They saved his life. Now, the cardiologist I spoke with said an AED like this one definitely saved Hamlin's life while he was on the field. But they say specialists are likely going to be monitoring his neurological state, considering he probably lost oxygen to the brain while he was suffering that cardiac arrest. They also say a series of screenings and tests will likely take place within the next few days.